This is a quick start guide to WorkWave Route Manager. To get started, after you first sign in, click on Setup. You will then click on Depot to create your start and end location for your routes. After choosing Depots, you'll click on Create New Depot, and you can fill in your depot's name. Choose its color, and then select its address. After you've chosen its address, click on Create Depot. Next, you'll need to click Create Your Vehicle. I'll click on Vehicles, click on New Vehicle, give my vehicle a name, choose a vehicle color, and click on Create Vehicle. Afterwards, I'll click on Routing Settings, and edit to choose the settings that I want to route my vehicle for. I'm going to choose my start location to choose my depot, my end location to choose my depot, and then fill in my working hours. I'm going to have my vehicle work between 9 and 5. After that has been completed, I will create update normal day settings. We'll then create drivers. I'll click on New Driver. By creating a driver, I will be creating a username for my mobile app. You can find the mobile apps on the iOS or Android stores searching WorkWave Route Manager. This will be your login name and address and password to access the mobile app. After you've selected an email and password, click Create Driver. We'll now need to assign the driver to the vehicle. By clicking on Vehicle Assignment, I'll choose Normal Day, click on Edit, and choose Match Vehicle 1 with Driver 1, and click Update Default Exception. Now that all of our settings have been chosen, I'll click on Back, and it'll bring us to the main screen. We'll now need to import our orders in, either by adding them individually or importing them in via Excel or CSV. I have an example Excel file right here with my name of my orders, my delivery address, my delivery time windows, and some additional information. But all you need is an address and a name. Once you've created and saved your Excel file onto your computer, you can come back into the software, click Import Orders, you can then choose if you are doing pickups, deliveries, services, or pickups, drop-offs. I'm going to choose drop-off. We also do have a nice download template if you do need assistance in creating an Excel file. I'll click on drop-off, select the file from my computer, and I will click on import orders. I will then need to map my columns to my file here. So I've chosen name to match up with my name column. I'll need to choose address to match up with my address, the delivery time windows to match up with my time windows, and any other information that might be important. I will also choose longitude and latitude. And as well as my service time. I'll then click apply mappings. And it'll just give me one last screen to make sure everything's importing in correctly. And I will click on Import Orders. Now I will see that all my orders have been brought in and see my depot on the map and my orders. I can now click on Build Plan New Routes to optimize the routes. You'll now see that the routes were optimized. I can then send it out to my mobile app by clicking on Dispatch Routes, clicking on Dispatch, and now that will be accessible from the mobile app using the iOS or Android mobile apps by setting up the driver login. Additionally, if you did want to print out the route, you can click on the vehicle's name, click on Export, and then choose Print. This is a quick start guide to WorkWave Route Manager. Please feel free to contact us with any questions or look up our videos for more details for more advanced routing techniques. <laughs>